This letter, signed by dozens of former Israeli generals to President Biden, represents 5,000 representatives across Israel's military, security, and law enforcement agencies. He published a letter calling President Biden not to sign the agreement with Iran. We think that this agreement is a huge threat to Israel, to the Middle East, to the whole world. And it basically paves the way legally for the Iranians to become a nuclear power uh, in the end of the agreement in uh, 2031. According to Israeli Prime Minister Yair Lapid's office, he spoke directly to President Biden about their shared commitment to stopping Iran's progress towards a nuclear weapon. The statement added that President Biden emphasized his deep commitment to preserving Israel's capability to deter its enemies and to defend itself by itself against any threat. We're talking about a future existential threat to Israel. This is just kicking the can along the road. Reserve Brigadier General Amir Avivi, founder of the Israel Defense and Security Forum, says a signed agreement would lead to major issues. This is basically agreeing to have a nuclear Iran in a few years and agreeing basically to lift sanctions and give them huge amounts of money to weaponize all their militias and destabilize the Middle East. Avivi added the impact would be worldwide. If the Middle East is destabilized, the price of oil will go up. The whole chain of supply will be affected. Terrorism will be everywhere. After a briefing from Lapid, former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke directly to Iran's leadership. I want to send a very clear message to the Ayatollahs in Iran. With an agreement or without an agreement, they will never get a nuclear weapon. Supporters of re-entering the deal, like Biden, believe the original 2015 accord effectively restrained Iran's nuclear capabilities although military intelligence reports and U.N. inspectors have refuted that conclusion. For us, this deal doesn't make sense. It's very, very dangerous, and we call upon the president of the United States to stop this deal and go back to sanctions and a viable military option. The White House confirmed that during the conversation with Lapid, President Biden underscored U.S. commitment to never allow Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.